All right, now getting into our tip of the week. Converting a 3D documented detail into a black and white detail. So if you looked at previous in the presentation here, we looked at how to create a 3D document, and that is a colored you know, 2D representation of a 3D drawing. And we may want that to be in black and white, so that way we can emphasize the things that we want to be able to stand out. We don't want the color to be distracting from the detail that we're trying to show. So how do we get that 3D document into black and white? So again, we're gonna make a 3D document. We're marking around the area that we want to have documented. We right click to show the selection or marquee in 3D, or you can hit F4. That brings us up to our 3D view. We're going to right click on the screen again to create a new 3D document from our 3D view. And then once we do that, we went from our 3D view to now our 3D document. This is no longer linked to the model. We can add and delete our fills without affecting the model. But now I want to take this and convert it into a black and white drawing. So to do this, so once we have our 3D document, we're gonna go into the settings of that 3D document, and we're gonna come down to model appearance. So we have two different, uh, sorry, several different settings that we're going to affect here. First, we're gonna take the cut fill. And if we're looking at our 3D document over here, our cut fills are what's in black right here. It's what's being cut through. So we're going to say we want the cut fill surface um, to have a uniformed fill and shaded. So that's gonna take our cut surfaces and create this black fill or this dark gray fill. And if you don't want it to be black or gray, you can select the color there. And now our uncut elements, meaning everything else in the document, we are going to want to make those a uniform pen color that's not shaded. And that's going to turn everything else in the model white. So our cut surfaces, uniform surface with black paint, our uncut elements, uniform pen color, and then I turned that pen color to 91. And that took everything else white. You may have to come through here and um, hit the uniform pen for cut elements. Same thing for uniform pen for uncut elements to make sure all of our line work is coming in as black as well. So you're turning all of our model display settings into black and white options. And then once we have it there, we can start annotating and adding additional lines, fills, and 2D drafting to show the detail the way we want to see it. 